All right, so today I am really excited uh, because I got my Aero uh, Aviator Ace uh, helmet in the mail today, and I also bought a uh, Senna 20S Evo headset to install in it. Um, I've wanted a Senna for forever now, um, and what's great is that not only did I get one of these, but uh, four of my riding buddies got them as well. So I'll have somebody to talk to on the end, other end of this rather than just uh, listening to music. Um, so I'm really excited, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to install this uh, in a new helmet. So before I jump into the installation of the Senna headset, I'm just going to show you guys what comes in the box here. Alright, so you get the main control unit here with the clip and the uh, headphone parts that uh, the control unit clips to. It also has the uh, microphone attached to it. You also get a bunch of accessories. So you get the instruction manual. This comes with some extra mics. Looks like you get two of them. Uh, you get an extra um, sticky clip for the to mount the uh, clip here too um, in case you want to stick it to the outside rather than uh, clipping it to the shell of the helmet. Get some foam spacers. It looks like they've got some velcro on either side. Uh, some foams for the microphones. Get some 3M uh, sticky pads. Looks like these are velcro as well. Some tools. You get uh, muffs, looks like these go over the uh, headphones here. Uh, and then you get an aux cord, uh, extension cord. Uh, you also get a charger cable as well. That's very important, I don't want to forget about that. Uh, so the first thing I'll need to do is uh, remove this cheek pad. Unfortunately with these helmets uh, this cheek pad just kind of pulls out. Go ahead and set this off to the side uh, and what I need is they've got two allen screws here on the back side and they give you the allen wrench for that. Uh, so I'm going to take both of these allen screws out and the first thing I need to do is I need to decide what microphone I'm going to want to use. So there's three options. You've got a wired mic here, and then you've got a mic uh, with an extension, um, and this velcros to something on the inside of the helmet. Uh, they give you these 3M sticky pads that are velcro on one side. so. You could use that on this and then stick this to the helmet and that would that would hold it. Um, and it really just depends kind of uh, which one you want to use based on how big your helmet is and where you're going to mount it. So one of the things I'm noticing kind of right off the bat here is that if I want to mount this headset here, in that flat spot, this uh, this microphone is going to be way too long. It's going to be sticking out almost in front of my face. So I, I'm going to have to go with a shorter microphone. Senna does recommend this microphone uh, as probably being the best of the three options, but I really just don't like that it sticks out so far. I mean, there's not really any way I can kind of tuck it in here in the helmet. I mean, if I was mounting it back here it'd probably be fine because then you could just sneak it in there uh, but that's not what I'm doing so I think the most tempting option for me right now is actually to use this little guy and this also has kind of a velcro strap or a velcro support on it and the inside of my helmet right here is kind of a good area to stick this so I think that's what I want to do first is just stick that in there and then I'll be able to use 
this microphone kind of right here. Um, that way it's kind of right next to my mouth. It's out of the wind. You won't be able to kind of, hopefully you won't get as much wind noise. Um, but having not used this before, I don't really know. So we'll have to see. But I think that's what I'm going to go with on this first round. And if it doesn't work, then I can always change out the microphones later on. When you're dealing with the microphone uh, to change it out, there is a kind of circular clip here on the top and you can pull that out, rotate it, and then this pulls out of there. And then you can take the whichever microphone you wanna use and then just clip that one into place. Uh, this back plate here, uh, this is metal and uh, screwing into also metal. Um, but this back plate holds this in place here. Uh, so now that I have the microphone that I want, pull my helmet up here, and then I wanna figure out kind of where and how I wanna mount this. You can see here that there's a lip on the edge of uh, this mounting unit and that seats up against the rim of the helmet here. Um, so when you tighten those Allen screws back down, it's going to clamp to the shell of the helmet. Uh, pretty straightforward. One of the things that I kind of don't like, especially with this particular helmet and the way it's set up, is if I torque that down, uh, it might even kind of rub against the helmet. The other thing to consider too when you're doing this is this control unit is going to clip on here. So before you kind of know exactly where you want to put this, you'll want to slide this on and then just kind of see how it fits. So there you can see I'm already having kind of a problem with the angle that this helmet has here and that's going to rub against the helmet and it's going to kind of put stress on the system. Uh, it's not going to kind of evenly pinch between these two pads here. So what I think I want to do, uh, it shouldn't be a problem for this outer plate, but for this inside here, uh, I think I want to add a little bit more to that. They give you uh, these additional rubber pads here and you can add to that right there. So I'm gonna add one and see how that works. So I'm pretty happy with that right there. You can see that now the, the control unit is actually not touching the helmet there anymore. So let me put the Allen screws back in here. So I think that's pretty good there. You can see it's not rubbing up against the helmet there, which is good. I was kind of worried that that might put a little too much stress on this whole system, especially as I tighten those screws down and it might mess up the connection um, between the base here and the control unit. One of the bummers is that I actually can't remove the control unit from the base. So whenever I want to charge this, I'm gonna have to take my whole helmet out. The charging port's on the back here. So it's not a terribly big deal. It's kind of annoying. So now that I've got this clipped here, I just wanna see uh, how the cheek pad is gonna fit into the helmet. Well, it fits. Not, uh, not terribly disappointed in that. I mean, definitely feels like it wasn't intended to have anything in between there, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop out either, or doesn't feel like it's loosened up. So the next thing is to install the earphones and the 
microphone. So what I'll need to do uh, is remove the cheek cushions, which is actually separate from the entire cheek pad itself. So we've got that one there. Uh, there's a couple of clips in the back here. And then you can pull out the full uh, headliner. And then it's the same on this side. There's a couple of uh, clips there. Obviously here, you've got two different length uh, cables for your headphones. Uh, the short one goes on the near side, the long one goes on the far side. All right, so now that I've got the earphone here kind of pushed through this slit here, um, I want to figure out where to place it against the inside of the cheek pad here on the helmet. Um, and really what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sticking this 3M uh, Velcro pad uh, here. And there's a cutout here in the cheek pad, and that's where your ear goes. Uh, and it, it kind of goes through the chin strap as well, so this goes through here. Um, but your ear basically goes right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the ear pad or the ear phone with this hole in the cheek pad and that should be right where I want it so right about there all right so you can see there where I've placed the earphone and when I flip this back up it's just to the back side of the chin strap here and it's right in between where the uh, cheek pad is here. So that should be right where my ear is. I'm gonna take the right side earphone and I'm gonna poke it through here as well. Pull it through a little bit so that it has some slack. Uh, and this is gonna run behind the main head pad here in the back. Uh, to the other side here and it's going to be the same thing uh, I'm going to stick it right here behind the chin strap right there and that should be right where my ear is so before I go any further with this uh, I want to Put the helmet on real quick just to make sure that those are in the right place so i'm going to snap the pads back all right so that's pretty much as good as it's going to get in terms of the placement uh, there's really nowhere else i can go it does feel a little bit tight um, what i want to do next is actually want to install these little uh, earmuff pads that go around these uh, headphones so they've got this pad here and I'm gonna pull that off and then I can take this and I can just seat it on there all right so you can see there I've got this first one in place uh, so that way when I flip the cheek pad back over uh, just a little more comfortable doesn't hurt uh, your ears as much to kind of rub up against this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over and do it again on the other side. All right, so the second one was a little bit more work, uh, but I got it in there. I'm going to uh, just go ahead and snap everything back in place. Uh, these snap down, and you can see the wires kind of run underneath that. Uh, then the these two snaps will kind of hold this wire in place here. Uh, and then the same on this side, the, the wires be held in place underneath the snaps of the cheek pads. So now that I've got the earphones in place, what I want to do is I want to install the microphone. Uh, and that's going to go basically right here on the inside, just like that. And uh, I'm hoping that that will be right out of the wind and it will kind of be out of the way of my breathing. 
because uh, I don't really want to hear me huffing and puffing or have everybody else hear me huffing and puffing uh, as I'm riding. So uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down in here through this slit in the cheek pad and pull that through. And then go ahead and stick that right about there. And then this can just kind of get tucked in here like that. And then once I fold over the cheek pad and snap it in place, the only thing that's left is to figure out what to do with these wires. Uh, and what I think I want to do is just wrap a zip tie around them and then just tuck them back down in here. So there you have it. Um, one installed Senna Bluetooth headset. Got the earphones in place. Got the microphone here. I think uh, we're ready to go hit the trail. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any thoughts or questions on this project, you can definitely put those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm gonna put the links to all the stuff I used in this project uh, in the description below uh, so you guys can get that uh, if you need it. Uh, obviously, like this video and subscribe to our channel uh, if you like the videos that we're putting out. Uh, we really appreciate it, thanks.